future Damien here again, welcoming you back to the Red Arrow Project. As you can probably tell, the arrow is driving. As you can probably also tell, the arrow is not ready for the road, but is very much uh, now driving around the property here and also charging. So that's great. Sadly, Damien of the past, well, he's not a very smart guy. And he screwed up again. So, screwed up with the truck, and now he screwed up with the red arrow. So the good news is, I was here to rescue him, because I'm future then, and I know stuff. So, let's go back in time, a few weeks, or well, a week and a half now, uh, to when we were first driving the red arrow out of the barn. Okay, so, slight problem here, and that is that in removing the front of the red arrow from the Greg Pack 6000, I managed to get my trolley jack and two blocks of wood wedged under the um, front cross member. We're also live streaming this for maximum audience attention. And the uh, jack arm is in such a place there that I can't actually jack the car back up. Also, had to winch the Crasby pallet out, but managed that. The rear wheels are basically towed in maximally, so that'll be fine. Uh, so what I'm gonna try and do, obviously for the first drive, is uh, I'm kind of asking myself at this point, what would Johannes do? And he would basically stick it in reverse and give it some throttle. So that's basically what I'm gonna try here. Uh, I'll leave you folks set up here at the front so you can uh, keep an eye on things. If you see anything um, that shouldn't be the case, be sure to signal me. Thank you. 
Now, a reasonable person might ask, what in the Sam Hill, under all of this cable and various other things in here, do we have two new differentials? So one of the problems that I think that caused that um, half shaft to pop out of the differential was that I had the tow, uh, I hadn't bothered doing anything on this, so the tow plates were all set fully in. So um, that one wasn't good. As you can hopefully see there, the wheel is a lot more centered in the wheel arch, with those adjusted reasonably. Uh, so on the EV side, left to do, there's some wiring tidying under the bonnet, not a big deal, it doesn't need to be done today. Uh, then I've got to put my heater matrix in. The good news is the fan still seems to work. The bad news is the windscreen wipers do not. Then we've our um, sills need replacement and although not strictly needed for getting road legal, uh, I am going to have to paint the car and a few other odds and ends. I haven't decided if I'm going to do fast charging on this vehicle or not, but for the minute with the MG 6.6 kilowatt and our um, OR 14 kilowatt hour hybrid uh, JLR pack up the front, it kind of doesn't really make sense at the minute uh, to waste time on that. So that is the Red Arrow, folks. Um, as she stands now, uh, she's running, driving, charging stopping more importantly uh, and not breaking the differential as yet uh, set on 50 percent power and uh, very very um very very slow throttle ramp so you're probably not going to really see me doing much with the vehicle now um over the next couple months we probably into next year before we're getting on the road but um yeah, she's, I'm super happy that she's finally uh, out of the barn. So there you have it folks, one times Red Arrow, running and driving. I gotta fix those wipers. So, um, we will hopefully see you next time. Uh, like I said, we'll be a while before we're back with this vehicle. Uh, but hopefully not too long, because I really like it. And um, I hope you folks do too. So until then, don't forget, for Pete's sake folks, thumbs down, unsubscribe, cancel alerts, go find some funny cat videos and um, don't check any of the links in the description because they're all bad. And whatever you do, don't support me on Patreon or PayPal or any of that because then I waste your money on projects like this. So don't do it. And until next time then, Happy differential um, flange connection.